Skymox, I'm back, it's me, Mabu Javi, aka The People's Coach, aka your host and speaker for today. Now check this out, in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about the area, the subject, topic, matter of relationship building. Yes, that's right people, in this relationship building subject, this area of life, there's so many headings that go underneath relationship building. There's love, there's affection, there's all of these other subjects. But in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about how well do you, do you know one another. You could be in a relationship for so long, many, many years, but still not know one another. You, could, you may know the obvious things that are the things in front of you, but how well do you know the intricates about one another? How well do you know one another, in terms of things that turn you on, things that turn you off. What do you like to wear? What are the sort of things that you like to hear, to do? These are the sort of things that I'm talking about with you guys in today's video. Now check this out. Earlier this week, I watched a program, a program, a family sitcom called My Wife and Kids. I'll tell you what, I highly recommend that you guys go out there and check that out if you have any time throughout the week. It's on one of the Freeview channels or the Sky channels, I'm not too sure. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Watch it, it's very entertaining. Kick back and just enjoy the show. Be mindful. Listen attentively and carefully about the lessons because it's not only entertaining, but it's also educational at the same time. And I want to share the education that I got from this program. Now, people, once upon a time, Mr. Kyle, the husband and wife, Play the game on one another. It's called, how well do you know each other? Now, you have team A, which is the husband and his lot of friends, including his son. You have team B, the wife and all of her girlfriends against each other. Now, the whole purpose of this game is to ask each other questions and see how well do you know each other. I'll tell you what, round one started off with the wife asked the husband, what is my favourite colour? The husband responded, purple, and he got it wrong. And it continued to round three. They were all playing against each other. One side, the, the woman's side was asking the guy's side the questions, and they started to get it wrong. Not just only once through one round, the second round, the third round, they still got the questions wrong. Now, I'll tell you what. You know what that done to the women and all of her girlfriends? That got them really wound up. That got them upset because they, they discussed... And they told them, how come that you have been married to us or been with us for so long, yet you still don't even know what we like? You don't even know us properly. You've been with us for many, many years. You've neglected us. And the guy folk, they responded. They were so baffled. And they got together and plotted. What shall we do against these women? You know what? What they done? The husband of the pack approached his wife and said, hang on, baby, listen, let's play that round again. But this time, we ask the questions, you give us the answers. Now, before I begin, give me one second just to open the door for my little boy. Son, what's the matter? Quickly, come in. Get in. That was my boy. Anyway, so, as I was saying, now, do you know what happened? When the, the guy folks asked the women folk, a question, they start to get things wrong. Not just through one round, second round, third round. They all got it wrong. Now the husbands were quite upset about their women. And the women were upset about their husbands or their partners. And you know what? That day, they all went home in a strop. They had to go at one another. How come that you've been with me for so long? You don't even care about me. You don't even know what I like. What turns me on? What turns me off? But I'll tell you what, let me tell you something, let me bring something to your attention. When it was the husband, Mr. Kyle, which is the host of the show, and his wife, they were in bed. And the wife was upset and said, look, honey, baby, why is it that you don't like, you don't know my favourite colour, you don't know, even know when's it my birthday. It's been such a while, we've been together for 20 years, but yet, you, you still get things wrong. Now the husband turned around and said, you know what he said, he said something smart, he said something clever. He said, baby, I may not know all the small, intricate details of every, every little thing, each and every little thing about you, 
But at the end of the day, at least I know what's important to you. Now check that out. Check that out. He answered it so well. And this is the thing that I'm trying to bring to your attention because I'm going to further elaborate on this. In a relationship, sometimes we have a go at one another because of the fact that we get things wrong. We get things wrong in terms of we fail to realise what one another likes. We fail to realise what turns us on and what turns us off about each other. And we get really, really upset. Then we start fighting over the smallest of things, the smallest of details. Because in arguments, it, what tends to happen is we always argue and bitter, sorry, not bitter, bicker about the smallest of issues, the trivialest of things. And when it comes down to the big and important things, it gets brushed aside. Why is that? Let's get things into perspective, people. The thing, now back to my point, the thing I'm trying to bring to your attention is this. Let's focus on the main things, the important things, the really, really crucial core issues. And not just on little things, because in today's society, it's always the little things, the little, little collective things that destroy a relationship. And then it leads to the biggest thing at the end. Get in, get in, son. Now, people, I do apologise about the constant interruption. My son's quite busy today, so he'll be going in and out of the room and trying to get in my way. But anyway, let's move onwards and upwards with the show. So, as I was saying, we tend to bicker about the smallest of things, the true list of issues. Let's not do that. Let's change our ways in order to improve the quality of our relationship by focusing on what's important, by allowing these little trivial things and brushing them aside because they don't really matter. That's the thing I'm trying to bring to your, your attention. It's about prioritising. It's about trying to bring things to your attention and focus on things that really matter the most. For instance, trying to win each spouse's heart over Trying to avoid things that they dislike and that makes them upset, that makes them stressed. And when they are stressed and upset, then it's down to us to de-stress them, to de-stress one another. These are important issues right here. It's all about, sorry, let me just pause. Think about it. A relationship is all about reassuring one another that you care, that you love each other. So you have to be very mindful and be very careful about how you go about things with one another. Because you can surely destroy a relationship. You can surely ruin the quality of your relationship with your spouse. Now people, I hope you guys get the gist. I hope you guys get the point. At the end of the day, it's your own personal journey that you have to go through. But, just bear that one thing in mind about not focusing on the trivial issues. Learn to forgive, learn to have mercy with one another, and you will see your relationship flourish and grow. People, that's all I have to say. Until then, have a great day. And what's that thing I usually say? Oh yes, bye for now. Yeah, I do apologize for the distractions because my son in the background, I'm trying to talk to you guys. And also at the same time, my son is doing all sorts of crazy things. So I'm multitasking at the same time. People keep tuning in. Until then, stay strong, stay focused, and always live to learn to power and inspire the lives of many, as well as yourself. Bye for now. Son, do you want to quickly say something? Say something to people. Quick, 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 quick. quick. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here. <sighs> say hello, everybody. Hello. Say bye. Bye. See you again soon. Did you hear that? He said, see you again soon.